morning, dear friends. What a joy it is for us to meet again and be at the feet of Jesus for a few minutes before we begin our day and its activities. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ, whose faithfulness and mercy has given us another day to rejoice in the Lord and then glorify Him. We are considering, yesterday we considered levels of faith and we said there are three levels of faith. And yesterday we considered the first level of faith, which is little faith. And uh, today this is part two of the same title, levels of faith. The second level of faith is great faith. Now, this level of faith was usually found by the Lord Jesus Christ among people who came to him for blessings from heathen background. While Jesus always had a problem with his disciple and their faith, he has to tell them all, well, most of the time, O oh, ye of little faith. So he struggled with them. And they somehow were not able to rise above their little faith and graduate into great faith. Whereas there are some heathen people came to Jesus for blessings of healings and deliverance or anything else and uh, Jesus had to commend the level of their faith and once he said concerning a man such great faith I have never seen among Israel and there were there was a woman and there was in fact two women we know who exercised great faith in coming to Jesus Christ they were all from heathen background now, often he was surprised by seeing great faith among such people, not Jews, but from heathen background. Great faith is what? Great faith is reaching faith. At this level, faith is maturing. And it is willing to believe what God said. And this great faith focuses on God and uh, what He said. It is willing to believe, not in ourselves or on our circumstances, nor on what we think. These will not be the focus of great faith. And the focus of great faith is on God and on what God said and what God promised. So great faith focuses on the nature of God, that He is faithful, He is always the same, the unchanging God. He does not promise one thing and the next moment He changes it, no. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The unchangeableness of Jesus Christ is one reason why He can be trusted. And that is why it is better that we believe in what God said or Jesus promised and that He is able to do it as well. And uh, if we focus only on ourselves and on what we think, uh, then we will be in problem. But great faith always look to God and believe what God said that he would do. And uh, another quality of great faith is great faith persists. It continues. It does not easily give up. It does not quit. And that is a big uh, quality. It is reaching out to God, the great faith, beyond our circumstances. So, great faith has eyes to go beyond our present circumstances or situation. It is reaching out beyond all the possibilities or impossibilities. 
certain things may be may look absolutely impossible naturally but we look beyond that impossibilities and look to God who is a God of impossibilities it is reaching out to beyond what the doctor has said the doctor may have said oh three more days he will live so take him home and get all the loved ones around and give make him as comfortable as possible let him go peacefully but great faith will look beyond that verdict of the doctor and refuse to accept that doctor's verdict is the final one but the final verdict comes from my god in heaven the god of all creation that is that's what great faith will say little faith will say and uh, uh, little faith will stay on your problem great faith stays on the greatness of god little faith will look how great my problem is but great faith will say <laughs> my god is greater than this little faith will look at a giant and it is frightened we are frightened and will say let us run and hide and great faith will say no giant is bigger than my god and that is the difference my friend and so great faith stays on the greatness of god do you know how great is your god great faith looks at your circumstances and then looks at god and says i know how big god is and uh, how faithful this god is and uh, he loves me and he is able and he will lead me and ultimately i will receive what i thought was impossible and so great faith persist and this morning therefore i want to ask you which of these two levels of faith are you today read matthew chapter 8 verse 5 to 8 and then again verses 9 and 10 what you will find in these places great faith doesn't give up it hangs in there Matthew chapter 9 verses 18 to 21 you know you read about a woman a woman who had a, a big problem of issue of blood for 12 long years the bible says life is in the blood Can you imagine that this this woman was still alive even after 12 years of losing blood? You can imagine her feelings and her God. Then one day she heard that Jesus was passing by that way in her way. And you know what this woman said? She did not uh, recline at her place of dwelling and say well jesus knows my condition i cannot get up and i cannot travel and let him come and heal me no he didn't she didn't say that when he heard that jesus was passing this way her faith began to rise up and this is what he said if only i could reach up to jesus and then i could raise my hand and touch the helm of his garment then what will happen now she did not say then i hope i will be healed or i may be healed or oh i wish i could be healed these are not the words she used she said if only i could reach him and touch him I will be healed. She began to see the healing 
even before she ever reached Jesus. She said, I will be healed. That is second level of faith. It is God oriented. And it is God focused. That faith will say, look to God. Trust God. Listen to what he says. And he is a faithful and able to do what he said he would do. And he doesn't change. He does not go back his promises. He will not ever say to anyone, it is too big a problem for me. And uh, this is too old. And so go home and die. No, he never say that. And a God focused. You know, the second level is God-oriented. He doesn't give up. Your mind is focused on God's word. What God said. His unchanging word. You are programming your mind to think the way God thinks. When God sees a person who comes to him in humility and trusts him, First, Jesus sees that person completely delivered and healed in his own mind's eyes. And even in our case, we want to experience that miraculous healings and deliverance. First, we need to see by the eyes of faith that healing. And then it will become a reality. And this faith doesn't give up. And you are programming your mind to think the way God thinks, to see things the way God sees. That is important. And so I pray that we shall rise up the level of our faith from little faith, from small faith, to a great faith. And it is those who came to him with that kind of faith, great faith, Jesus saw their faith was great. And he said, you go, great is your faith, and according to your faith, let it happen to you. And the third level of faith is, Perfect faith. You know what perfect faith will say? Perfect faith will say it's done. You know, read Mark chapter 11, verses 20 to 24. You know, there Jesus said, when you pray, you believe that what you have asked for in prayer, you have received and then you will have it. That's why I just said before. First, you see your healing by the eyes of faith. First, you see deliverance already happened. You receive the answer. It is not visible yet, and yet in the eyes of faith, it is as real as the sun rising every morning. You begin to see it and rejoice. And then you will have it. That's what Jesus said. First see it with the eyes of faith. And when you see the answer to your need, what will you do? You don't keep on asking. You, on the other hand, begin to thank God for the answer. You have received them. Not struggling or restless, this perfect faith. There is no struggle, no restlessness. Not reaching, but resting. 
and says it is an accomplished fact. It's done. It is there. Anxiety is over. Struggles are over. Laboring is over. Level 2 says, Father, I am going to trust you. Level 3 says, Father, I thank you. So where are you in your faith? Is there anyone who has been struggling and you have been praying for certain things and you are still keep on asking, not sure of God answering prayer? Is that the reason you are not receiving? You are still struggling but hoping that someday God be merciful to you. But you are not very sure. But uh, this morning, I, I pray and I urge you to rise up and raise your level of faith and exercise your eyes of faith. And with that eyes of faith, you begin to see the answer you are holding in your hand. If you have been praying for a baby, for a child, for yourself, you are married several years, but so far no sign of a child coming. And if you have been praying, you have asked others to pray, and if you have been trusting and yet not very sure now that a few years have passed by, I encourage you by the authority of God's word, oh, look to God and then with the eyes of faith, you begin to see yourself holding that child in your hand, singing lullaby to him or to her. And you begin to see her or he playing around the house. You plan the celebration of the arrival of that child all by, the eye, by faith. Because by the eyes of faith you have seen the answer and you are now rejoicing, giving thanks to God for that wonderful gift that God is sending on your way. Exercise that kind of faith. That is, you know, that is a perfect level of faith. You know, once Jesus said in the, in the gospel, gospel according to St. Mark, I think chapter 11, where Jesus uh, cursed a fig tree. And in that explanation given to the disciples, he said, If you have faith, you may ask this mountain to move from this place and be planted or gone into the sea. It will happen. And therefore, when you pray, you believe that the answer is sent. That you have received it. The believing and seeing the, uh, the, the answer by the eyes of faith is when you pray. And then he said, then you will have it. From prayer, you rise. And you begin to thank God and praise Him. Lord, it is done. And I know that gift is on the way. Exercise that kind of faith. God is still the same. You say, according to your faith, let it happen to you. Hallelujah. I encourage you to exercise that faith. In Genesis chapter 22, verses 1 to 5, we have Abraham was asked by God to take his one and only son, Isaac, and offer him as a burnt offering in a mountain which God was going to show him as he traveled by faith. Labor and when he arrived there, you know, on the mountain, what did he do? He built an altar. Laboring faith or struggling faith will never build an altar and never set the firewood on the altar. Struggling faith and laboring faith will not bind the sacrifice 
with Josie Isaac. Anxious faith and a struggling faith, a laboring faith in not sure of faith, will never pick up that knife and lift it up. But he had a reaching faith. That will say, but I don't know how you are going to do it. But that perfect faith which is resting faith will say, I know you will do what you said you would do. You have promised God, Jehovah God, that nations will be blessed through us and make nations of me and Isaac. That's what God, you said it. That's enough for me. And he did not waver in his faith, but offered Isaac. And what was the result? He received Isaac back miraculously, and the nations were blessed. And many nations have come up through both of them. God is ever faithful in fulfilling his promises. God doesn't want you to live in the rut of level one where you hardly receive anything because you're always doubting, always focusing on your problem and on yourself instead of focusing on what God said and on his word. Every aspect of your life is affected by your faith. And it also depends on the level of faith you operate in. And I pray that you begin to operate on that, begin to operate by the second level, which is great faith. And then the, from that second level, you graduate and you rise into the next level, which is perfect level, which says, it is done. It's an accomplished fact, fact. I have no doubt because God said it and I heard it and that is good enough for me. And now my friends, three levels of faith. Little faith, great faith, perfect faith. Where do you want to be? Now don't be discouraged because you are still in that little faith level. You have been staying there for so long. It is time for you to rise up. God does not expect you to remain there always. Come on, rise up into the next level, which is great faith. I'm going to trust God. And then into the perfect faith, where you always say, you don't get panic. You don't get any any, any uh, confusion you simply focus on God and on what God said he would do he would do the impossible and you begin to see the answers to your need and problems by the eyes of faith first and you rejoice lifting up your hands and raising your eyes towards God and you say Lord I thank you that it is done. I don't see it, but that's okay. By the eyes of faith, I see the answer. Come on, prove God by your faith. Hallelujah. I pray that you will be a champion of faith and your children will rise up and honor you for exercising that kind of faith. Impossible things are made possible because you believe God. You trusted God. You focused on God. You focused on God, what God said that he would do. And the result is now you have no confusion. You may face the highest mountain in your life tomorrow, but you will not be afraid. You still know, will say, well, my God is greater than this mountain. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. 
and make you a hero of faith. Let the people see God working in your life because of your faith. Father, I pray for the listeners, my brothers and sisters. Lord, some of them have still struggling faith. Lord, they have experienced miracles in the past and yet even now, when a given occasion comes, they are still panicked. In the name of Jesus, I pray that they shall rise up today in the light of your word that has come to us. Thank you for blessing your people. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. This is a good day. Enjoy the rest of the day. And have a good day. Amen.